The Wizard of Oz Behind the Scenes Original First Copy DVD. Yeah, the, the thing about this one, um, it knocked up. It, it they have a lot of features in Ghost Rider. I have gotten a lot of brand new movies, guys, and I really enjoy them. I love them. Guys, stay tuned. I'll be filming movies behind the scenes uh, on my new YouTube channel. Really like this behind the scenes, guys. Of the Wizard of Oz, the most beloved kids movie in the world. One of the best, in my opinion. I'm not going to say the best. But it's pretty darn good. Just know I got this uh, Wizard of Oz movie at a garage show. My mom got it for me, guys. It's pretty good. I love it. And I hope you guys all enjoy it, too, a lot. I hope everybody enjoys it. Or enjoys the 75th. I also have the 75th. It was for story and commentary. And digitally master and picture. I got more to show you of this guys. It's coming up next. Coming up next. More of the Wizard of Oz special features. Special effects stills. Here we're on the movies. I don't know if that'd be good. But these special effects stills look pretty cool. And they have a documentary. In it. It's got quite a few. For the movie. It's got the Wizard of Oz history. And that's about it. What it doesn't have. Is the Hollywood premieres. Which I wish it had. Hi Terry. I know I don't see you no more. But I want to see you when I. When I live with Leslie one day. I want to go to Harbor again. I, uh, I just do. No, but my mom, well, I just, I just gotta make sure I don't, you know, talk bad about people, you know. My grandma had a problem with that. I gotta respect her. You, you know what I, you know what I pulled yesterday, last night that was bad with her? I, I try to think I was living with my mom and I was being a punk and that's not very nice. That's not very nice. Trying to think my mom was better than her and she's not. My mom's got an addiction. I gotta give it time. Yeah, so I still want It Chapter 2, Terry, when I left my mom, and I want some more comedy movies. I like It Chapter 2, I like Fires of Teeth Part 7, I like Halloween 1. Now, I don't like other horror movies, I'm not a big fan of them, but the Jason is not real, and neither is the It, right, Terry? Right. And they all die in those movies. Well, the first Halloween, he kind of dies, right? Right, right. Yeah, you like the first John Carpenter Halloween, right, with Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah, the fester from the first one. Yeah, that's the creepiest mask he ever did. Yeah. Who? Nick Hessel. No, yeah, that's scary. That's scary. I got a lot. I got a lot of movies for my mom, Terry. I'm filming them. I got a lot of movies. I got The Wizard of Oz, and it's got tons of features on it. The original copy. You know those old hardcover Warner Brothers where they? I'll show you where they snap like this, Terry. Where you snap them. Yeah, I like those kind of ones, Terry. You know, it was it wasn't it probably would have been a waste of money to get the thirteen buck uh Wizard of Oz, you know, the seventy fifth. I wouldn't have Grandma Candy pay money on that. It's nice that my mom went out of her money at a garage show to get this stuff. You wanna know what else I got, what, Terry? I got Ghost Rider.
Yeah. So how was your working today? You were very busy, I bet. You, you've been busy. That's why you haven't been able to call me about watching the movies yet. No, I, I just, I told Dave to give up the med caps because I'm not coming. But you will, you'll still be my caseworker when I live with Leslie. That's not going to change, right? Yeah. Yeah, you won't. Oh, my grandma's just trying to get me at another group, you know. Uh, you know when you have somebody that's my age, that has a better fit? I don't know. Grandma Candy's figuring that out. She's going to figure it out. I, I still want to go back to Harvard one day. If it's not Grandma Candy, my mom. It's somehow it got to be figured out. Terry, I'm going to see Lee soon. My Uncle Lee this weekend. Gonna go ahead and take me to every play. He's gonna give me early Christmas presents, early DVDs, Terry. Comedy ones, Terry. My mom gave me my mom gave me her Android phone, Terry. So I think I'm gonna start filming YouTube videos about Grandma Candy's not home, so I respect her. I'm gonna put them on YouTube. I'm make, I'm make, gonna make a new channel, Terry. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to become famous again. Movies. Yeah, I've been I've been doing tours. Oh, I just been watching a lot of happy movies, you know. Not it. I still am gonna watch it chapter two again. I love that they shrunk him. That it deserved to die. So does the first one. He's a cocky clown. Now, the Flash Beasters, like Red Death, may be unkillable in Reverse Flash, but not in horror movie characters. There's different categories, right? I'm going to be scared of the Red Death, Terry. Because he's a Batman and Flash Beaster. He's red. You know how Zoom had that lines on his mask? Well, Red Death has the same exact thing, except he's red. He's got bigger claws than Zoom. I know that Red Death kills him. His, his, count, his body count of people is supposed to be way worse. That's not good. He's going to humble the Flash, Terry. He's going to hurt him. But the Flash will get him. October 8th. But he ho the Flash will get him, right? At that finale, right? Yeah. He always beats all the villains. I, I get why they didn't add the new 52 reverse Flash. Because they, they already put the Godspeed character on Joe, you know, in Season 5. So if they were to have new 52 reverse Flash, a more creepy off yellow and black and red skin with claws, bigger than... New Red Death it wouldn't make sense because that guy was Daniel West and he's not part of the West family. He doesn't exist in the show because he's too cocky and manipulative. He thought he could beat, kill all the speedsters and get away with it. And he could try to do it in the show or more people. And that's why they had him. And then the Flash would have to beat him and he'd be in jail. And then it'd be a waste of a character. You know what I mean, Terry? You know, it's not good. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch them both. I'm excited. I'm excited for Flash too. Uh, you, your son said the skinny guy character, right? I don't think he exists. I don't know who he is, do you? I don't think he exists, do you? He might just not be on the show. He might just be a comic book character right now. But it doesn't mean they won't add him on the show someday, Terry. They're, they're coming up with better villains nowadays. It might be the speedster one this season, Red Death, and then the skinny guy next season, right? I would be more scared of the skinny guy, though. He's powerful, right? He could break anybody's bones. He could break the Flash's bones, right? In his body. All of them. Zone didn't break the Flash's bones. He was way weaker, right? Yeah, I, I think... I, Terry, I think that guy from the Flash of Bone guy is probably like a vampire almost. But he's not. But he's got that scary look, right? Do you like Twilight Terry or Van Helsing better? You like Underworld or Van Helsing better? Yeah, I like Underworld Awakening. I got them, Terry. I got. I finally got Underworld here. I got Underworld, Underworld Awakening. I got them all. Except the Blood Wars one. My mom's going to get that one from me for Christmas, Terry. I don't like the Underworld 2 because of the spider guy. Terry kind of creeped me out. You know what I mean, the spider vampire at the end. You know what I mean, I get freaky when things have long legs. Don't you, Terry? You don't really watch Underworld 2 anymore, right? 
You don't want to. That one's kind of too scary. But I do like the other one the most. You know what I mean? Not bad. Yeah, Terry. Lee's going to take me to replay this weekend for early Christmas presents. I'm excited. I have not seen Lee in so long, Terry. And this... He's my uncle. And and just because my mom uh, doesn't want me to see Sue, I don't care. Sue's still my family. And she may have turned back mom, but my mom had a drug addiction. She had a reason to. So I'm not against that. Sue's my aunt, Aunt T.T., I call, used to call her. She used to make me delicious sweeties. She probably still does. It will be probably Sunday this weekend. Yeah, Lee will take me there, and I'll watch movies at his house. If I'm bringing them from Gary Candy, I'll watch them there. And the ones from we play, whatever we'll have to watch. Not all of them, whatever we can watch. Time to watch. Lee works a lot. Yeah, Lee works a lot. I'll see my mom this Saturday. And she'll give me my surprise on Saturday. But I but I did warn my mom. I texted her on the I called her on the phone and I said, Mom, I can't live with you because Grandma Candy wants me and I can't respect her. I can't disrespect her, you know. I, I gotta respect what Grandma Candy says and this is the good home I'm in right now, Terry. Do you want to leave? No, I don't wanna leave. I don't. I love it here. I, I mean, I like being chilled here and, and having my movies fun, you know. I, I have to, you know how the harbor was helping me? I didn't need a job, I got out, at least. I need that again, you know what I mean, Terry? When I go to the next group, and uh, Grandma Candy's working at it. She's just been very busy working, and I don't blame her. She has a hard job. She works hard at that hospital. She works at the Toledo Hospital, Terry. Uh, she, uh, cleans rooms, I believe. I'm not sure. Something like that. Cleans hospital rooms. The, you, this, this Wizard of Oz DVD, all. Oh, not even the new one has a special effects in it, it has got a lot on it. That's the good thing about those old special effects DVDs, Terry. They're good. They carry a lot more features than the newer ones. And guess what else I got, Terry? I didn't tell you I had got Twister, did I? No. I got Twister with Bill Paxton, huh? and I got The Perfect Storm. Those are both of my old movies collections that we covered. They don't have to buy them. They're so expensive, but my mom recovered those. That was the one time I put my food away that wasn't very close to my head. So was Shrek 2. I got them all, Terry. No. Terry, how many movies do you got? I got a good amount, don't I? I got everything, don't I? Better than what I used to have. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I need every kid's movies. Like Grandma Kenny said, I'm not five. It has to, it depends on what it is, right? Because certain Disney movies, probably not. Certain things, not. Because grown-ups like me are supposed to watch more grown-up comedies, right, Terry? Like PG grown-up ones. Stuff like that, like Ghostbusters, Terry. Or PG-13, right, Terry? Or Rated G. Yeah. I don't like rated R as much, you know, because it's hard to find good rated R ones, you know. I've only got some of those that are good. I mean, too. I like that Werewolf the Beast Among Us I got, too, Terry. The Werewolf Further movie. It's pretty good. I like it better than the Wolfman, Terry. Are you getting back to work, Terry? No. Terry, Terry, I'm excited to get this to watch CW show, Supernatural and The Flash. Those are the only ones I watch. Do you watch The Flash? You, you, you need to, if, if, I, if I tell you, if Red Death's on there and I call you, you better check it out. Because that Red Death looks cool. Because he's red. You like Batman, right? In the Flash, right? So you would like to see that as a speedster, right? Evil one mix of Batman and the Flash, right? I hope they add it to the Flash. Do you? I hope he's worse than Zoom. Do you, Terry? It'd be nice, right? Right? I'll let you go, Terry. You gotta go, right? Because you're busy. Oh, uh, you'll call me another time, right? All right, bye. Bye. It's just...
Exclusive Behind the Scenes of Wizard of Oz, Part 1. It's what they did with this picture for being that old. It's got a lot more features you would on the 75th. Many of you may disagree with me on that, but... Damn, it's a nice case of the Wizard of Oz. The old one. Most people own it old ones. Because they're garage show friendly and cheap. I think that's going to be all, guys.